came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could wait here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Okay, I get that this is like three years earlier, but why do I look ten years younger? <laughs> like the fuck? Did becoming a writer really fuck me over that bad? Coffee's on. I didn't even, dude, I didn't even, I forgot that she asked me to turn on the coffee. I literally just walked in the room and started touching shit. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Wait, hold up, what? If it's this, if it's a fucking blizzard outside, why the fuck did I go outside and do nothing but this light ass jacket? We're just gonna ignore that? Okay. What is that, a TV? Fireplace? Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock ups. They're on uh -huh. my desk. Tell me what you think. Yep, no listening kidding. to you. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. Listening to you, honey. Love ya. Oh my god, this is her battle station. Hmm, separate tub and separate. Separate shower. I wish I had that. Wish I had that luxury. What the fuck? What the hell? What's going on with the lights? Honey, what the fuck's going on with the lights? You pay the rent? I mean, did you pay the electric bill? I mean, did you pay the rent too, but, you know, electric bill? Aka, it's fucked out there, guys. Be careful, honey. What if I just like hid in the closet and like and just kind of like kind of scared you a little bit? I mean, I'm not gonna do it, but but what if I did it? You know, what if I? You know, I'm just goofing, I'm just goofing around. It's just a like goof. Oh, I gotta examine those mock-ups. Okay, well, I'm not gonna do that. Honey, what you're doing? Mind if I just... Thank you, you don't need that no more. Why is that door locked? What the fuck? That skeleton's in there or some shit? These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. That can be arranged. I mean, what? Was the last time. Wait, oh, what the fuck? All right, honey, listen, hear me out real quick. Where the fuck is my phone? I gotta go get my phone. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? All right. Found my phone. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Scan the QR code. Where does that take me? Vision 2? What? Different dream states. They seeped in from the reality beyond. Things I had a connection to, but also things I couldn't possibly know. I used them in my writing to make it real, so that the parts that weren't would become so. And there were visions that I knew were not real, 
ideas I had lost, often of Casey. I had written about him for years. I used them as well. The lies had to feel true for them to become true. And I always written this way. Even before, seen things without realizing I was seeing them, thinking they were mine. Was this what inspiration was for me? So there's another QR code somewhere in the game that I missed that links to fucking <laughs> what? Oh my god, it links to unlisted fucking videos on the Remedy on Remedy Entertainment bullshit. Are you kidding me? Wow. You ARG motherfuckers. Like let me just do a quick look though, just make sure like do they not have like a playlist of this shit or whatever? Like, if I scroll down in their videos, will I just find, like, all of them? Story trailer for control and stuff. No, yeah, it, it's unlisted videos. What the fuck? Oh, shit. <laughs> so you can't manually go in there. You gotta scan the QR code. That's fun. That's fun. That's nice that they did that. I'm not sure if that was in the original Alan Wake or not, because I haven't played the original Alan Wake, but, you know, it was <laughs> sure as fuck. That's, that's interesting. Great. Hold up, baby, I gotta pick up the manuscript. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Okay. The hell was sudden stop it's one? true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. My Alan Wake, Boodoom Ching. Again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Huh. I don't know where the first one came from, but I guess maybe I just had it, right? Oh, find, in, find this page in difficulty nightmare mode. Oh, wait, so... Oh, and that's why I was missing this. You gotta get it in. Oh, okay, so I found all the pages. I just wasn't playing in nightmare mode. All right. Nice to know. I really don't like this, Alan. Please hurry. Return to Cinder? I, th I thought that was gonna say return to September. Do you remember? I'm right 21st here. 21st night, September. Fine, Something I'm told fine. me to focus. Get the lights back on now, please. All right, then why don't you just walk over here with me? Come on, just hold my hand. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Honey, it's a power outage. I, I've got the flashlight. Okay. See, you feel comfortable now? You got the light all over you? Hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... I, just I love that so much. Hi. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll just break out the candles. She's like, hi. <laughs> But it's just, especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. It's okay, honey. At least I know you'll never do nothing towards me that I'm not prepared for. Like, really telling me we're going on vacation and then making really me bad. sit in a room and write. gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. It's called a nightlight. Sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. That doesn't sound like a healthy marriage. Even that you lied to me, I still love you. <laughs> That's why I lied to you back. Why are there police sirens? What happened? Hmm. 
How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. I don't know, I feel a flashing feel? light in my fucking eyes. I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy. Hey, cameraman, can you, like, Thanks. chill with your fucking early sets of Parkinson's? Thank you. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Well, at least that's nice of her. Oh my god, sing to me, fish. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. I can go for a good piece of salmon right now. Wick? Oh, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. I but do have some salmon in the fridge, and haven't really eaten, like, a full-ass meal in a bit. Water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll Last thing I ate was, a like, a, a sandwich. And, like... Not even like a big sandwich, just like, you know, meat, cheese, a little bit of mayo, right? On my low-calorie bread, right? And like a, a handful of nuts. That's right, I put some nuts in my mouth. Uh, just go down the call. Cashews. I don't know why people don't like cashews. I like them, they're fine. They're not pistachios, but I mean, like, cashews are fine. They're good. Richard back bag bath bath back bag how you pronounce that Ruth Dangsty uh I mean Dangsty wow Dan Sky dance I don't fucking know you guys got weird ass names Jacob Miller see that's the only fucking normal person on a camping trip overdue haven't been haven't been in contact have you seen them I know their whereabouts called five 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 nine nine two what if I did that <laughs> what if I just call that one eight hundred Thank you. Let's see, have you seen this man disappeared on? What is that? Is that June or July? That's June, June twentieth, two thousand seven. Identified, identifying features: knack for winning contests. How is that a how what? If I see a guy on the street and I'm thinking it's this guy, am I gonna look at him and go like, he seems like he likes to win contests? Like what the fuck? And there's another person missing, but they're not important enough, so. Oh, that's the sheriff's office, so I'm gonna ignore that. Meeting room, that's where I just came out of. Okay, that's locked. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Yeah, can I just have like a drink of water real quick? Maybe that like. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on, um, well, other things these days. She'd fit right in where I come from. As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? Who's calling a fucking... Who's calling someone? The cell area. Can I go in here? No. <laughs> It'd be pretty crazy if they just let me walk in here. Coffee. I'm stealing your coffee. Thank you. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Haha, <laughs> that's just my craziness acting up again, she said to herself. Should I not be fucking with this? Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. 
There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the Bray float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Jane's out. He said, well, at least the parade's here. I mean, so so we don't have to... Come on, guys. I've been waiting for this deer fest. The sheriff wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. Thank you, miss. I don't know your name is. Also, she was talking about the crazy lady, but I didn't even see the crazy lady, so I don't even know where the fuck she's at. Reed. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Why'd I say that like it was foreign to me? Re Why is there... Why, is, why are the fuses here? Are we gonna lose lights in the... In the police department? Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. I'm that already in. Good. It's charged now. But thank you for charging my phone. Seriously, thank you. Can I look at your your chalkboard? Can I look at your, your weapons phone, closet? Oh, hi, my phone. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? All right, wait. Right come now, down. You gotta yell at her. Now, Shit. Can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cab. I'm gonna stop you right there. Okay, listen. <laughs> When you're already fighting shadow monsters and shit like that and fucking and you're like my wife is missing i swear there's a cabin at the lake that we went to right and you sound crazy maybe you shouldn't start your and you have a head injury maybe you shouldn't start and your car is crashed and in the woods somewhere and there's another dude missing and they found you in his fucking place maybe you shouldn't start your sentence was i was arguing with my wife <laughs> right and on cauldron lake how did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I walked. I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. It's an unknown caller. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Oh, you should put that shit on speaker. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't Mr. do nothing Wade, can stupid, I help you pal. With anything? For watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. I thought he quit drinking for good. Oh, you mean that? No, you mean no that's? You mean that sound of someone mumbling to themselves? I just fucking heard. He started shouting like that the moment he woke up. You mm. can get to the back lot through that door and down the corridor, Mr. Wake. Thanks. Wait, through the cell area? Should you not be letting me back here? To be bright in here. Can I turn the light off for you? Sure, buddy. I mean, why not? There you go. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know, I shouldn't even be in here. The cops, they got it all wrong. See? Sure, sure, sure. I beat him up. I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen. You gotta listen carefully now. Cause here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, yeah, sir. okay. I believe you. Yeah, I believe you. You wanna know who it really was? I can tell you who it really was. It was a goddamn space alien! All right, maybe you shouldn't say that. <laughs> yeah, he, he came, he ran across a shadow person, beat him to death, but it was like Danny taking over as a shadow person, right? And he's all like, he's like, man, turn the lights on, please. Please turn the lights on. They don't understand. They're, they're not listening, dude. You gotta turn the lights on real fast. If I hang out in the dark, they're gonna get me. In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. 
Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. On the left? Oh, okay. What about the right? What if I walked over to the right? What if I told you no? Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report. Why is it so quiet? Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their Deer Fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? No point in getting all worked up yet. Okay, that was... I don't know why it was so fucking quiet. The had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'm just seeing if I can find some shit, okay? You let me walk around, I'm gonna explore. You know, at least I get something out of my exploration. Unlike Breath of the Wild. <coughs> I'm sorry, did I say that out loud? Do I, you want me to jump over the fence? He said find a hole in the fence. Do I jump over here? Don't mind me just getting some fresh air right outside of your office. Is this what he want me to find? The kidnapper fired his gun one last time and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? <laughs> Where's my wife? I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit more because I feel like Wake is a little quiet when he speaks. But everything Alice's else is driver's loud. license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. I'll just reach over. There we go. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. I thought I could mess with that. Uh-oh, sheriff, you gotta let me go. Uh-oh, you gotta let me go. Ugh. Can I open this? Nope. You okay, buddy? A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Am I writing myself? Am I actively writing? Am I playing as a version of myself in the story? I wonder if I had the light off and he went to sleep. If I came back, would he be like a ghost monster? I'm not going to fuck with the lights. Marvelous, I'm going to keep it on for him. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing 
They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. Tor and Odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm. Indeed. All we can do is to slow down the progress of their dementia. What the fuck? Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wade? Oh, you're that stuck-up like doctor. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did I'd like to tell to you... Wife? Don't, don't talk to me, man. Discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where. Oh, hey. What the fuck? Take it easy. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with it's Mr. me, Wake, Joey Wheeler. Me. I'm here to save you, you. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. I'm a chef, chef, too.